Get your VCRs rolling. This is a classic. Vic Steamboat taking on Knuckles Nelson for the very first time. And this match took place in the ill-fated CWA arena. Knuckles Nelson right now on the canvas. Armbar applied by the Happy Hawaiian. Eye rank by Knuckles Nelson. Spin kick by Knuckles Nelson, who does have a martial arts background. As we say in this week, Knuckles Nelson is uh, being a guest with Jeff Gantz and he wants to see a tribute. But ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to show a tribute to this man. This man is arrogant, he's egotistical, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not afraid to say it, he scares me. He scares me, Knuckles Nelson scares me. And right now, something else is being scared on Knuckles Nelson at the behalf of Vic Steamboat. Setting him up for an atomic drop, unbelievable. That's a Hawaiian atomic drop, inverted Hawaiian atomic drop. Knuckles Nelson, the loose cannon, wants his hands on the gold. That is the heavyweight championship gold. Will he have to go through Vic Steamboat? Only time will tell. Vic Steamboat's held the championship titles more times than anybody here in the CWA, and that has Knuckles aggravated beyond belief. And Vinnie Capelli slips Knuckles Nelson, his namesakes, the Brass Knuckles, and we all know what he's gonna do with them. Referee Scott Dickens, I don't know if it's the beard or not that didn't make him see it, but ducks the clothesline, just like Tully Blanchard, who strikes a resemblance to Knuckles Nelson against Vic Steamboat's brother, Ricky Steamboat in Stockade 1994, 84, excuse me,